Also, in the other side, KCB, it will be recognized very credible and reliable institution from the perspective of Vietnam businessmen and entrepreneurs. KCB, actually, just, uh, we started uh, to promote the event, the uh, overseas promotion event from last year. So before 2015, I think it's just most of you did not have an opportunity to be exposed to uh, how KCB is doing well, or how the legal structure of uh, Korea, or how much uh, pro-arbitration or in favor of arbitration from the perspective of uh, foreign parties. But if you see that, Maybe many, many objective data show that Korea is very pro-arbitration circumstance and the country and the one of the leading country in terms of uh, uh, this pro-resolution mechanism. If you see the bottom line, then Korea is a ranked number one country in first country. So there is many, many factors who can be reviewed by just World Bank. Then maybe is there any specific rules of arbitration and independent of the mediation rules and how local court is uh, uh, spend their time to render a word for enforcement. It is the Korean court and Korean government is uh, got the number one and perfect score out of the six questions. So if you have an issue where you have an opportunity to enforce your word under the Korean court or Korean legislation, you don't have uh, you don't have to worry about any concern there. Also, I would like to share one uh, funny information. Do you know which country is that adopt Who's Trial Model Law 1985 in Asia? That is Korea. Korea uh, revised their Arbitration Act in 1998 by adopting Who's Trial Model Law 1985. There was the first country in Asia. Then, last year, we also, Korea government also revised the Arbitration Act by just uh, maybe adopting who's trying about the law, 2006. I guess maybe uh, my colleague from Zulu maybe inform me that you know, how this uh, Vietnam administration I think was so friendly from the foreign perspective, but I believe maybe yes. Right. So you may have to uh, be confident or trust on the Arbitration Act of Korea that is uh, quite similar to yours or other diverse countries in terms of uh, uh, all the factors and the enforcement. Then, maybe we move to the next one. If you have maybe concern or dispute with the foreign parties, then there is a two options. Maybe local court and the arbitration institution. But local court, I think it is uh, too risky, both parties, from your party or just my party. So the next option, or the third option is the uh, arbitration institution. But you also have a fear, kind of a home court advantage as a risk. So one of the avoid that risk is uh, we uh, point a very neutral arbitrator. So in case of Korea, KCAB, we have uh, two different panels. The first one is the truly international panel, and the second one is the domestic panel. Out of the uh, total case of KCAB, I will just explain later, I actually just uh, 80% of Korean uh, KCB cases is domestic. So, yes, KCB has to be more forced to focus on domestic cases with domestic way. But from our perspective, it is uh, truly important that from the, to make sure, persuade the foreign parties how to provide very reliable circumstances to foreign parties. So, our first step is uh, we split two different panels. The first one is the domestic, and the second one is the uh, uh, international panel. If you look at maybe uh, more detailed information about jurisdiction, then out of uh, 307 total international panel, the number of the Korean panel is the only takes uh, 123. So other maybe 70 percent of uh, international panel is comprised of uh, international arbitrator working in Korea or working outside of Korea. But Regularly, just uh, I cannot see any Vietnamese uh, arbitrator listed on panel yet. But maybe from my experience last year and this year, I was very confident. So if you 
one of you or some of you have uh, interest uh, to be listed in the KC KC panel, please let us know and we are delighted to discuss with you as well. And as you see, uh, this topic, today's topic is uh, how to resolve this field. Uh, construction and infrastructure uh, arise out of uh, Vietnam and Korea. So I would like to uh, spend my time on that plan. So construction is uh, more specific. KCB, as uh, I pointed, uh, as I just explained, uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, very domestic college institution since we were founded in 1990, 1966. But we recognize the importance of uh, international arbitration practice uh, to provide a more neutral, non-biased uh, concept to our foreign client. And then we started to launch truly independent, different international arbitration rule in 2007. So when we just desire this kind of international arbitration rule, we benchmark uh, other university institutions such as uh, ICC, and SIEC, ICIA. So it is, there is no domestic color. Actually, just, uh, in terms of language, arbitral language, According to the KC International Arbitration Rule, I definitely just, uh, believe uh, more than 75% of the arbitration proceeding has been done in English. Maybe less than 25%, and maybe probably done in Korea. However, then case is uh, two parties uh, have a very strong Korean factor, such as one party is working in Korea, and the other party is uh, even outside the working working outside of Korea, but the own were run by just Korean president. So they prefer to, they have no issue conduct arbitration in Korea. But most cases, uh, definitely uh, arbitration has been done in English. So KCAB is, in average, we have uh, approximately 400 arbitration cases every year. Uh, in 2015, we have this uh, case record of uh, record 413. So that shows that to you, we have a very rich experience uh, cases uh, in uh, general transaction and construction. I will just I will show you more detailed information about the breakdown of uh, industry standard. Uh, sorry, I guess maybe in this chart you may have to put it to a geometrical version. However, uh, you printed a copy. You have a uh, so uh, very detailed and uh, without issue version. So uh, the first uh, trade partner from the, our perspective is uh, mainly China, and the second one is the US. But well, without just, uh, any just, uh, interaction with the uh, trade volume, as my president and uh, the keynote, uh, the distinguished speakers are uh, explaining to you, Vietnam is uh, the first, uh, the biggest investor uh, from your perspective, uh, Korea. Uh, has a uh, KCB3, uh, Vietnam is uh, number three, it's a highly frequently used uh, KCB arbitration. So there's a reason why this KCB invited Vice Secretary General Baia uh, last month to, to celebrate KCB's uh, 50th first uh, anniversary. So then we are just ready to provide a Korean businessmen. This is the way of, this is the practice of uh, Baia as a leading arbitration institution in Vietnam, then you may consider also Vietnam is an arbitration institution as well. And if you just uh, see the breakdown of uh, our history record by industry, you may see that construction dispute resolution uh, rank number one. So out of uh, 400 cases, roughly 130 cases come from construction and infrastructure dispute. So in case of uh, KCB, inside of KCB, we have uh, three different arbitration team. The first one is the uh, domestic team, and the second one is the uh, international arbitration team, and third one is the uh, construction dispute resolution team. That's why just uh, how KCB really think much of the importance of uh, construction arbitration. Uh, if you just uh, more breakdown of uh, construction arbitration, then this uh, general transition of construction rank number one, and the second one is the uh, energy. I think it's, uh, this platform will be maybe same in Kia and uh, Baia and the other institutions as well. So we definitely just have a very rich, a reputable panel of uh, construction arbitration history. 
So nowadays, maybe I think just uh, a lot of business men attending here has a uh, criticism of uh, arbitration because the international transaction, uh, arbitration is much superior to litigation because arbitration has a very advantage compared to litigation. Speedy and cost effective, but nowadays we are facing also criticism against arbitration because uh, if we adopt a global standard or another just uh, a unique feature of a common law system such as the discovery, then it may just mean our arbitration proceeding can be delayed was quite similar to litigation. So entrepreneur and the businessman, so our total client have this concern. Arbitration is uh, quite speedier than litigation. Then through the, the objective chart, I can show you that arbitration under KCB rule is very, very speedier than litigation. In case of domestic arbitration, the average duration of uh, uh, domestic arbitration under KCB is uh, five or uh, six months. And uh, in international, Yes, that is less than one year, around 11 months and 12 months. So if you look at maybe other comparison with other institution, you may see how KCB is really think much of the importance of a speedy processing. And also I love to hear this from my colleague, Professor Lin, how this normal processing or what original processing of my answer. So if you can just uh, conclude or uh, just uh, terminate, terminate our proceeding just uh, within a short time, it would be very, very nice with that. But just uh, our client has also got concern the cost of arbitration. From the ICC report, actually, if we just uh, calculate the total cost uh, uh, as a 100%, then arbitration institution only takes 5% of the total. Then other 15% of uh, fee goes to arbitration tribunal. So next 80%, what is? Maybe next 80% from this uh, this uh, legal fee, such as the uh, export meetings and uh, your legal representative. So you also have to really care about uh, how to choose your uh, legal practitioner and uh, as a legal expert. So the portion of uh, institution is uh, less than 5%, but we were to think much of uh, parties concern, uh, reduce uh, their cost uh, in reserve arbitration. So KCAV has a very just a unique system compared to with the other institutions. And then the export and proceeding, we just uh, standard on the breakdown of uh, cost, claim of amount. So if claim of amount is uh, less than 500,000 US dollar, that is uh, parties, unless parties uh, agree otherwise, then KCB's export item proceeding will be applied automatically. So uh, KCB export item proceeding just has very just uh, advantage here for this uh, small and uh, medium-sized entrepreneur. Because uh, uh, if this uh, claim amount is less than 200,000 US dollar, there is no filing fee. So you don't have to uh, maybe pay attention on filing fee. And uh, after constitution of arbitration, arbitration uh, tribunal, then you need only six months to uh, terminate all process. So as I told you, the total duration of uh, international arbitration is uh, one year, less than one year. But export line process of KCB is uh, approximately uh, seven or eight months. This is very good as a advantage from small and medium-sized person to reduce the just cost. And KCB also adopted the emergency arbitration. I think that this Bayang has uh, did not adopt maybe emergency arbitration with the emergency revisor of 2017. I believe definitely just that you had a great uh, consideration why just you not adopt maybe uh, emergency arbitration in your world. But emergency arbitration can be a very very nice tier for just the dispute resolution in case of a big big claim of amount such as like construction. Through just the emergency arbitration, we may have just a very just a substantial outcome within a short time. Because in case of KCB uh, emergency arbitration, if you will file emergency arbitration, then KCB has to, that is mandatory, has to appoint uh, emergency arbitration within two business days. Then 
if one of the emergency arbitrator was appointed, he also has to issue interim measure, uh, emergency arbitral award, within 15 days. So maybe if we have a very urgent issue, or there's a substitution barrier regarding proceeding, then you also very just efficiently use emergency arbitrator. You have a uh, uh, key, it's a kind of a weapon to uh, persuade you or just with uh, this, uh, the other power. Also, in case of a constraint Dispute, this, uh, there is a contractor, contracting, subcontractor, and also another kind of subcontractor. So it's extremely hard for parties uh, to reserve uh, that one shot because even though one subcontractor won one case, however, he has to refer the other just, uh, dispute with the other institution or other uh, procedure. So in some cases, it is very, very ironically, maybe in, 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 in the same subsection manner. You may just lose one case, but you may just uh, win the other case. So to avoid this kind of conflict, just the KCB uh, adopted the joinder and the consolidation uh, process. I think the Bayan also has adopted this kind of uh, very official rule in 2017. This is a very global, is a recognized uh, global standard and uh, in other institutions such as ICC and SIC. So you may also just uh, look, uh, enjoy this benefit as well. So my, my major recognition that we have a limited time to have finished this uh, uh, session in one hour, so I would like to see it. Uh, uh, but uh, my slide, I believe this is very important to you, so if you have a time, if you please leave you, it will help you. So if you see the chart, maybe in case of a small and medium sized claim, just in case we charge a very small amount of uh, fee, to a small and medium sized uh, entrepreneur and company. But if they claim amount is a little bit over a certain portion of the claim amount, then we also charge normally. This is a structure of uh, arbitrary fee. Then you may also see that how just a KCB also think much of the uh, importance of uh, arbitrary fee provide a very efficient, reasonable uh, fee schedule to provide. But uh, in total, the uh, this uh, fee schedule of uh, KCB arbitrator is 50% uh, of uh, ICC and 70% uh, or 80% of uh, uh, arbitrator fee of SIC or HKIC. So we are very, very sure we can just provide also a very comparative and reasonable arbitrator fee schedule as well. So if you want to be used KCB arbitration, then you may also need to consider that uh, in two cases, uh, we can apply the KCB international arbitration rule. Then, out of the uh, parties, at least one party should be registered uh, outside of Korea. I think maybe just a uh, buyer has a different scheme. Because the uh, buyer has uh, maybe one of the party has a foreign factor that could be recognized, uh, recognized as uh, international cases, right? And in case of uh, KCB, one party, at least one party, has to be set up outside of Korea. Or, the place of arbitration is uh, outside of Korea as well. However, uh, from my experience, I have never seen the second case. So normally, uh, the international arbitration cases under KCB is uh, one party is uh, uh, set up outside of Korea. So this is a very standard of arbitration case uh, clause of KCB. Uh, and uh, you may see it in this slide and uh, our website as well. So I think maybe in your just, uh, promotion tutorial that you may see Vietnamese version of uh, arbitration rules of KCB. We just, uh, from the support of Begi uh, Benie, Vietnamese LSC, we just uh, thankfully just uh, prepared the Vietnamese version of KCB arbitration. So if you have any question and any inquiry out of uh, KCB rules, you may easily refer to a Vietnamese arbitration rules of KCB. So you in the outside of a conference room, you may see also Vietnam is the version, Vietnam is the subtitle of a KCB arbitration proceeding. There was a design for this our foreign client as well. Uh, initially, there was a design by just uh, English. However, the Vietnam is the first country we just uh, add Vietnam to subtitle. So uh, there was a downloaded voice so you may see easily from the YouTube later. So if you have time, please. Uh, is it our website and our 
future. So before just uh, uh, closing my just presentation, I would like to say, actually, just uh, Barack Obama, the former president of uh, United States of uh, America, when he visited uh, Korea, uh, he for the continuous support between just uh, Korea and the UN, he says the same: go together. So uh, for the cooperation of uh, Vietnam and uh, Korea, uh, I would like to say go together in Vietnam. Ni Hong Yang, is it correct? Ni Hong Yang, okay. Ni Hong Yang, Korea and Vietnam. Thank you so much.